Hello, my name is Adam Shoemaker. I am rector here at St. Stephen's Episcopal Church in Charleston, welcoming you from our church garden to this service of noonday prayer. Happy April. As we continue um, to make our way uh, through these strange days, a friend uh, recently gave me some wonderful advice, advice that I believe uh, is reflected in the Christian tradition. And that advice was, th was this, structure equals safety. Structure equals safety. I think uh, there is great wisdom in that, um, and the monastic tradition specifically uh, lifts that up, uh, that finding ways to structure our days can be uh, tremendously grounding. Uh, for me, being outdoors is one of those ways. And I wonder um, what are the ways in which you are structuring the rhythm of your life in these days to ground yourself uh, in the love of God and to open your heart to your neighbor. It is my hope uh, that these um, services of prayer that we've been offering uh, has been one uh, helpful way for you to do just that. Our service of noonday prayer uh, can be found in the Book of Common Prayer. I invite you to follow along if you have one. It begins on page 103. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 119. Your word is a lantern to my feet and a light upon my path. I have sworn and am determined to keep your righteous judgments. I am deeply troubled. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, O Lord, the willing tribute of my lips and teach me your judgments. My life is always in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have set a trap for me, but I have not strayed from your commandments. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly, they are the joy of my heart. I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes forever and to the end. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from 2 Corinthians. If anyone is in Christ, she is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Thanks be to God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. At this time, we'll have a period of silence in which I invite your prayers and your thanksgivings. We thank you, good and gracious God, for the gift of this day, for the gift of 
those things in our life that ground us in your love, remind us of the love that we share. I thank you for St. Stephen's, for all of its members and its ministries, for our common bonds of affection. And I pray especially this day for Susan, Pam, Sandy, Cindy, and Catherine, and for Wayne and Joey. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.